We have already been at sea for just over three weeks. At this point, all of our fresh fruit is gone, and we'll be eating lots of preserved meats and canned goods from here on out. Unfortunately, the U-461 was not able to supply much fresh goods. The boat is currently on a heading of 170, running parallel to the Florida coast. Once at Key West, we will cut northwest and begin operations in the Gulf of Mexico. Weather conditions are serviceable, clear skies and light fog, wind 14 meters a second, moderate sea state, wave height around 2 meters, fuel 85%, 20 torpedoes remaining, all systems normal. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting installment of my Silent Hunter 3 series as we continue on our third patrol. This is part two, I believe, so welcome aboard. As you can see, the weather conditions are quite rough. It is not that great out here, but some of these fellas are not wearing their rubbers. Only this guy. Only he is. I wonder why that is. I guess these guys are too cool uh, to wear them. <laughs> I kind of wish the game would tell you how cold it is out, like what the temperature was whenever you gave a weather report. I think that'd be pretty cool. But as you can see, it's a fairly clear night, and it's currently May 8th, 1942, as we are running parallel to the Florida coast here. Oh, that's the South South Pacific there. That's not uh, what where we are. Not yet, anyway. So we're patrolling down here, down the Florida coast, and we'll cut north towards, when we hit Key West, we'll cut north into the Gulf of Mexico. I do kind of want to patrol these ports right here. All of these were really major, especially Mobile here, uh, major shipbuilding ports. So I do think we'll have some luck here, even at this point in the war. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and head into the Caribbean. Now we can stay on station for a little bit longer than normal because we can pretty much just cut east or I guess a little northeast right here and refuel here before we head home to Lorient. So if we are low on fuel, I think that is a good option. We could also even jog up here if, I don't know, yeah we could jog up here and refuel at U461 once again and then head home. But uh, just in case, you never know. Uh, so that is our backup plan. Now I am starting to get worried about air cover here as well. The Americans have been stepping it up in recent weeks. So airplanes in the area are a possibility. Although I don't think they would attack at night. I think we're still safe during the nighttime. But especially patrolling this close to Key West and such. And uh, Florida. I probably will start submerging during the day. We'll see. We'll see. I... I I like to live a little dangerously, so I might just avoid doing that altogether. Check on our crew. Everyone's tired because I neglect them. Uh, these poor guys. But uh, they're all getting rested here. And everything is just hunky-dory aboard the U-105. We launched two torpedoes in our last episode, sinking an ore carrier for 7,000 tons. So not a bad start at all. Anyway, I will quit my rambling now as we continue onward. And uh, we'll probably, I'll probably see you on May 9th. Let's see, I don't expect, well, I guess they're not telling us. This wind is really causing issues for us. We're burning significantly more fuel than we would be, uh, which is kind of frustrating, especially seeing how we have limited fuel. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling, and I'll probably get to you guys very shortly. And uh, I will be doing periodic dives to do hydrophone checks as well as I do. All right, so... I'll see you guys soon. Oh boy, what do we have here? You guys hear that? Apparently he picked it up, bearing 008, but he's not picking it up on the map now. So we have a possibly lone merchant contact here, and we're heading pretty much straight for it. It says it's closing. There she is, 012. So it looks like she's probably heading north here. We'll go ahead and maneuver towards said contact and let's go ahead and bump up our speed a little bit to close the distance here. Looks like we're on a pretty good intercept course as it is right now. Looks like she's on a heading of around probably 350 is my guess. Alright, we should be good. We're heading four knots too. Let's go ahead and check, check our periscope right now. Up scope. No aircraft have been detected just yet, or this is the first thing we've actually sighted. And I am well below periscope depth. Let's go ahead and come up a little bit. We're not going to be able to see much right now. I was operating a little deeper than just plain old periscope depth. And wow, the weather has really cleared up while we've been submerged. This is beautiful. 
This is... I wonder if this is good enough for a deck gun attack. Well, let's see here. You know, that ship was at about 260 thereabouts. Actually, go ahead and give me a report, please. What the fuck? No sound contact. Come on, you dipwit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, hydrophone operator. Oh, there she is. Hello there. That's a large cargo. Or a large merchant, whatever. I feel bad for uh, harassing my hydrophone operator now. Who's on there? Hans. Heinland. Well, get your ears checked, pal. Alright, so we'll go ahead and wait here. That's definitely a torpedo-worthy ship. I don't think I'll actually end up using the deck gun here. And we can probably slow down as well. So, yeah, this ship just fell right into our laps. And we might actually be able to pass its track and set up a stern torpedo shot, which would work rather well. Wow, I guessed that course very well. <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy with that uh, those results there. Let's see, apparently it's heading medium speed. I'm going to use the Uyag to uh, establish a speed here. And we can really just slow down and go down to around 13-ish meters. And let's see here. What do we got going on? Where are you? There you are. Hello. So we can go ahead and begin setting up our solution just a, little, just a little bit here. Let's see, we have a large cargo ship. Go ahead and click, 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 click. Where are thou? There we go. Oh, large merchant, large cargo, same thing, same thing. Damn near 10,000 tons. This is a very nice, very nice target. Oh, come on. Go, Mark three and a half kilometers away this is looking pretty good here let's go ahead and just turn oh, just a smidgen let's see his current course all right so we're going to go ahead and lay a wait here as the target approaches and we'll go ahead we'll use the U Uyagd very shortly here I am really having issues with uh, this right now. Here we go. Going bow is about 30 degrees. Okay. That's better. Let's go ahead and lower our scope a little bit. We are pretty... Oh god, we are very high in the water. Let's go ahead and try to trim the boat out a little bit. We're going so slow, it's very difficult to maintain depth. Let's see what we actually have in our aft tubes. We have two G7Es. That's good with me, especially since it's so bright. And it looks like the merchant does have a deck gun in the back. All right, let's go ahead and let's see. The draft on this bad boy is 8.9 meters. So we're gonna shoot a salvo consisting of tubes five and six. There we go, and I'll check, uh, I'll adjust the spread momentarily. So we'll go ahead 8.9 meters, we'll do 9.5, thereabouts, probably closer to 9 and a quarter range, she is significant, she is significantly closer than before, certainly is American, can make out the flag here. Let's go ahead and, you know what, we can actually use sonar. Why am I why am I doing it the old fashioned way? We can do it the fun way. One thousand six hundred meters. Uh, unlock. Let's see. There we go. Set. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get speed of the target. We are moving, so this might not be perfect, but I will I'll use my best guess. I'm guessing the ship's going around 10 knots. That's generally what these ships sail at. And his maximum speed is 18. Wow, the maximum speed is 18 knots on this thing? That's nuts. 
take a drink real fast. Mmm, delicious. Utmost professionalism here on Wolfpack 345's channel. Taking drinks during uh, episodes. Alright. So, the, the length on this ship is 155 meters. So, we'll use, yep, yeah, 10 knots. Bam. I knew it. Alright, 10 knots. We'll lower the speed just a smidgen, or range just a bit. Because, are we actually, uh, actually, it, it'll probably be at 1.6 when we fire. The problem is, when I shoot, this ship is going to be in my baffles, and I don't think uh, I'll be able to use the sonar, so I'll have to make my best guess. I wonder... Let's go ahead and start reversing. Alright, and... Let's see. Let's wait a minute. So, we'll do around a 3 degree spread. Should be sufficient. Both torpedoes, magnetic pistols. Alright, I think we're in business here, fellas. We'll go ahead and open the tubes momentarily. We're getting very close to uh, when we need to launch here. Let's go ahead and wait till that gyro angle. What the? F there we go. Now it's updating. Oh crap! <laughs> I missed my opportunity to launch. Oh, he saw us. He saw my scope. Really? Fire. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot. Wow, I, I am surprised he saw that. Damn it! That might have completely botched this up here. Run times a minute. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Fuck. That is really frustrating. I'm an idiot. Alright, well, let's go ahead and wait and see. Let's go ahead and follow our torpedoes, because that's always fun. Let's see. There they are. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, one of them prematurely detonated. <sighs> of course it did. <laughs> I expect nothing less from my torpedoes. Alright, I think we have a winner here. Okay, my clock stopped going because uh, it was timing the first torpedo. Yeah, this one's definitely going to hit as long as the pistol goes off. That is frustrating. At least uh, us being detected didn't... Torpedo there we go. Right, under, right in the middle. That was actually quite perfect. Oh, that was pretty good. Despite me being an idiot and having my scope raised uh, so high for so long, my periscope discipline is terrible. Alright, so... That has to be a pretty nasty hit for her. I don't know... Well, she's a rockin', that's for sure. <laughs> okay, well... I'm gonna go ahead and stock this vessel. I don't know if one torpedo is enough to bring down this 10,000 tonner here. I might go ahead and surface towards her bow and uh, use the deck gun. I do want to avoid that nasty cannon back there. But it looks like most of her armament is in, near the stern, so. All right, overall, uh, not bad. Uh, it's a shame I got detected. I guess my scope was pretty high, uh, but you live you learn. I'm gonna learn from my lesson there. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn and uh, kind of stock the ship. She looks like she's just sailing away and just fine. Let's go ahead and check one more time. I would prefer not to use another torpedo on this ship. There she is. Ooh, yeah, she doesn't look that great. She is very low in the water compared to uh, previously, so maybe she'll go down on her own due to flooding. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and stock this merchant ship, and I will get back to you guys very soon. Probably whenever she's sinking or I've decided to finish her off. So we are maintaining our three knot uh, speed underwater here, and we're starting to actually overtake this merchant ship. So I have a feeling she is not doing very well. Let's see her bearings at around zero six zero. Let's go ahead and uh, raise the scope and take a look here. Oh yeah, she does not look very good. It looks like she's pretty much dead in the water. A uh, very small bow wake there. It looks like no stern wake. 
Yeah, I think she is going to go down here. I'm going to give it a little bit longer because uh, I do not want to waste any more uh, ammunition on this ship. And I was actually I was looking. There are machine guns right there. I know that's really hard to see, but there are actually guns on the bow as well. So I would prefer not to get in a gun duel with this thing. It definitely outclasses me. So I'm going to go ahead and lay low. Wait, we haven't heard any destroyers or warships in the area. Although they might be coming for a rescue operation soon. So we'll, we shall see. So I'm going to go ahead and keep you guys updated on the status of this large merchant ship. Well, this ship is being mighty stubborn. She is still not going down and the sun is getting ready to set here. So I'm going to go ahead and surface man the guns and uh, take her out. I do not suspect it will take very many, very <laughs> many uh, deck gun rounds. So let's go ahead and while we're at it, start reloading these torpedoes. I just realized that. All right, let's go ahead and all ahead flank and surface the boat, please. Go ahead and battle surface here. Make sure all the, the scope's down. There we go, perfect. We are rising rather quickly. 10 meters and let's go ahead and make sure we do not recharge our batteries we want standard propulsion here do 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 all right uh, there we go fix man the guns please oh boy that was rough all right let's go ahead and train our guns give me a range estimate chief 2.4 kilometers. Oh, shit. I don't like that. Right in the nose. <laughs> they launched a flare. Hopefully there's not a destroyer escort nearby. Oh, God. Alright. Turn towards the target. Uh, this is not going as well as I anticipated. There we go. Another hit right in the bow. Nothing, nothing too great though. Okay, this is taking a little bit more uh, convincing from this merchant ship than I anticipated. All right, at least it's just these small guns here. Let's go ahead and zigzag a little bit. And we're dipping. Oh no! Hold on, boys. There go. Nope, that was no good. Rudder zero. Rudder midships, please. Ah, I don't like this. <laughs> All right. There we go. That looks good. Right in the nose. Unfortunately, this is not the best place to be hitting this ship, but she doesn't need too much convincing. Hit her in the bridge. Ooh, that does not look good. And that explosion was not catastrophic. She's still fine. Keep firing. Another hit in the bridge. I wonder what our damage is. I'm pretty sure the damage is fairly light. It looks like both the gunners have... Have we sunk her? Nope. She's still sailing. Maybe we silenced both the guns. That, that, oh, there we go. She's going down. Perfect. Ah. Alright, let's continue on our course and get the hell out of here. Looks like they just damaged our uh, flat gun, which is no big deal. Perfect. Overall, <laughs> not too bad. No one's dead, thankfully. And that merchant ship is going down. It took her a while. She She's a very stubborn ship. All right, so let's go ahead and vacate the area. I'm sure she sent off a distress signal. And plus, she launched that flare up. So anything uh, fairly re close to us will uh, no. Let's go ahead and fix that. And yeah, she looks like, let's go ahead and take a closer look, shall we? Yeah, she's going down. Lots of crew in the water, lots of debris. And that's a 10,000 ton vessel going down. One torpedo and around five deck gun rounds. You know, it's a shame that second torpedo prematurely detonated. I'm sure if it uh, actually hit, she would have gone down almost immediately. But anyway. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and let the ship go and continue on our course here. Uh, that we did waste quite a bit of time messing around here, so. Thankfully, most of it was submerged daylight. Uh, yeah, the sun's about to set, so we should be hunky dory. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut here, and I'll get back to you guys very soon. So it's been a total of three minutes since that uh, large cargo went down, and she she went down pretty fast. She's already beneath the waves, and we have another sighting here, zero two six. You can hear the detonations under the water. <laughs> it has not been long. Let's see. All right, lone merchant ship. It looks like apparently it's heading fast. So let's go ahead and turn. Make our course around 210. Yeah, that should work. And we'll head straight for it. And we'll kind of figure out what it is. If it's heading fast, I might just use the guns here. All ahead full. There it is. So, yeah, it looks like a coastal merchant of sorts. So, I think I will end up using the deck gun here, which is fine by me. Looks like, uh,. I'm sure she'll be able to see us fairly soon because it is broad daylight. The weather conditions are very nice here. Enemy ship is now engaging us, apparently. That's fine. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, it looks like a tanker, actually. Let's see here. It looks like the uh, one of the smaller tankers, obviously. Um, Where are you? I just want to be at the front. Of course. Wow, there is a lot of small ships. <laughs> All right, let's see here. True intermediate tanker, possibly. Uh, no, it is not that. I think it's the Nippawan type tanker. Yeah, that is definitely it there. Uh, it looks like its maximum speed is 12 knots, so it's actually kind of slow. We are definitely going to be able to catch this thing. And 2,000 tons. Yeah, I will definitely use the deck gun on this. I do think it has a gun in the stern there. It looks like a perfect place to put a gun. I guess it could have one in the bow as well. Yeah, it looks like it's turning straight towards us. <laughs> that is terrifying. All right, well, we'll go ahead and head towards him. And, wow, it's you You guys are still repairing that flat gun? It's going to take them a whole hour to repair that thing. Interesting. Okay, well... Closing in, I want to get closer before we open fire. That's just the way I like to do things. Although, it might be best to open fire at such a wrong ra long range. I probably would do it if the sea was a little bit calmer and we were a better gun platform. But in this weather, we are not a good gun platform. So I will go ahead and try to close this gap. Use some time compression here. Hopefully a shell doesn't just smash into our boat, scare the hell out of me and all of you fine people. Alright, we're probably close enough. Let's go ahead and man the guns. Just man the deck gun. Alright. Four thousand meters. Fire. Oh wow, that was one nice first shot. Oh, excuse me. Fire. All right. So uh, wow, that ship is already up in flames. All right, another hit. We're uh, we're doing pretty good. I'm actually quite proud of my duck gunning abilities right now. We're going to go ahead and slow down to one-thirds here. I do. They're not opening fire at this range. I don't want to get much closer. I want to stay out of range at their guns, of their guns, if that is possible. Let's see here. There we go. It looks like we hit the bridge. Let's go ahead and bring down the range just a smidgen. Fire. I hope this ship doesn't use too much of our ammunition. It looks like we missed. I, did we overshoot there? I can't tell. Let's go ahead and see. It's really hard to see. I think we're overshooting. Give me another range estimate, please. Yeah, I think we are. There we go. Let's try that. We had quite a few secondary explosions. There we go. Nice waterline hit right there. And wow, my men are reloading this gun actually rather quickly. 
The dead gun crew is a well-oiled machine. I think we're undershooting once again. Or overshooting. There we go, another waterline hit. Looks like she is now, looks like she's turning towards us. Although it is rather hard to tell. I don't know if that hit. I'm assuming it did. I heard explosions, so. All right, let's see. There we go. Yeah, man, the ship is at a really awkward angle now. I missed. Gonna fire there. It looks like that's gonna miss too. We just bracketed her. Uh, it's coming bow on. It's probably trying to. I don't even know what this ship's trying to do. I don't know if we hit. Uh, looks like we missed. Let's increase range just a little bit. And let's change course about seven Neuer degrees. Kurs, zwei, eins, fünf. There we go. That actually will help our sight picture just a little bit. And wow, this ship is just sailing straight for us. <laughs> I wonder if it what it's trying to do. I know if they're close enough, they'll try to ram you. Which uh would do an insane amount of damage to our little boat here. But let's go ahead and keep firing and try to keep this commentary interesting. Let's go ahead and lower that. Give me another range Jawohl, estimate. 2,000, wow, we're closing the gap fast, okay. I'm surprised they're not shooting yet. These range estimates are not 100% accurate either, so there is a little bit of uh, variety thrown in there. Um, there we go, another gun hit. Yeah, it looks like there definitely is a gun on the aft section of the ship. There we go, another bridge hit. All stop. Alle Maschinen stop. They're not shooting at us. I don't want to close the gap anymore. Oh, damn, I over. Oh, there we go. We're in range now. Shit. Am I over? Am I really overshooting? Holy cow. Guess we're moving pretty fast. Oh god, I don't like that noise. Come on, I need to start hitting this ship. It's a pitiful. There we go. I could try to take out the gun again. I've actually had pretty good luck doing that in the series, which is quite surprising. Let's go ahead and fire. This is one tough little tanker. Another good hit. All ahead in the third. Let's start moving. Let's not make ourselves too easy of a target now. Let's go ahead and try to aim for the aft section of the ship. It looks like most of our hits have uh, hit the forward half there. Just kind of space it out. Show the stern some love. She does not look very good. Either there we go. She's going down. Thankfully, before we got damaged too bad. Let's check damage. Okay, we're actually okay. That was only one guy? <laughs> okay. Uh, that was weird. I thought everyone would have moved up there, but apparently not. That You, my friend, deserve a medal. Horst Weller? Veller? Whatever. Close enough for uh, an American. Alright, so overall, not great, but not bad. That's another ship down for the count. A Nippon Park Type Tanker, 2,476 tons. All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue on our course. See if we spot another ship in the next three minutes. Maybe one, two, three. No, nothing this time. So we're going to just go ahead and... Whoa! Hello there. And there she is. Just burning up all that oil on the... On the sea. I really need to show the ship sinking more. There she is. Wow, looks like we got quite a few hits on the water line here and <laughs> all the superstructures and everything just blew off her she's just staying at periscope depth wow it's actually a fairly large uh, ship it's very thick all right well there's a lot of oil burning on the surface so we'll go ahead and try to avoid that let's not sail through that Anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue on our course, and I will get back to you guys very soon as the U-105 continues to our uh, patrol objective in the Gulf of Mexico.
Another ship spotted, bearing 277 degrees, heading due north. Uh, it is currently nighttime. It is May 9th now. Let's go ahead and change course to kind of intercept here. We'll just head northeast and let's take a look at it. It's pretty dark out. I'm debating. I kind of, if it's relatively small, I do want to finish using my deck gun ammunition here. So unfortunately, we will have three deck gun attacks in one episode, but uh, that's just the way it is sometimes. But if it's a large ship, I will definitely use torpedoes. I just want to save my torpedoes for those juicy tankers that we might see later on. Where, where is it? Zero two five. I'm not seeing anything out there. What do your elvish eyes see? Oh, there it is. There is no way in hell you are going to be able to see that on the YouTube. So we'll go ahead and close the gap a little bit more. I really can't tell if it's a large ship or a smaller ship. Let's go ahead and head full, please. No need to go flank. Don't want to risk damaging our engines doing that. Alright, closing the gap. Let's see, how far away are we? 7,200 meters, 044 degrees. There she is, and that's a fairly small ship. It looks like a passenger cargo. Let's see, so I think that is uh, deck gun material right there. Uh, where are you? There you are. 2,300 tons. Yeah, I'll definitely use the deck gun here. No need to use a torpedo. And you are not supposed to be up there. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and get my watch officer up there. And let's go ahead and close this gap. I, I'm sure this merchant ship is pretty heavily armed. As most of them are at this point in the war. Let's see. Six thousand meters. I cannot make out any guns just yet. I think we're a little too far to really pick apart that kind of detail. Although I do suspect there is a gun on the uh, on the back back there. However, there could be more on the front. Who knows? Let's find out. All right, she's zigzagging. She opening fire too. Uh, my men aren't popping a squat, so I'm assuming no. They normally shiver up in fear. Whenever a little merchant ship starts uh, plucking away at us. Let's see. Nope, it looks like the merchant ship is not opening fire. Hey, that's actually a nice change of pace. Maybe we'll find something that won't shoot at us. All right, let's go ahead and cut and stri head straight towards it now. a fairly bright night as well. Is there any moonlight? Nope, looks like uh, no moonlight tonight. But it is very clear. No fog or anything like that. It's actually a pretty nice night. The waves are a little choppy. Uh, let's see, how windy is it right now? Yeah, wind 8 meters per second. And I'm sure that'll dive down, die down once we get into uh, the gulf as well, which we are getting pretty close to. We're heading, we're pretty close to Miami now. We've made some progress since our last, uh, last update. All right, let's go ahead and head closer to this thing. Do, do, do. All right, we should be good now. All right, go ahead and man the guns, please. <laughs> Oh, it is shooting at us. Oh, there's the shell coming straight for us. Or is that a star? No, that's definitely a, that's definitely artillery. <laughs> oh shit, that looks pretty close. Oh my god, that was way too close. Man, that that ship is just rapid firing. Okay, let's go ahead. What's the range, please? Let's keep booking it. Four thousand eight hundred meters. Oh my goodness. That, that that gun crew is pretty good. Although uh, most of the gun crews on merchant ships were trained to actually handle them, so I guess that's not too surprising. Fire. We have 85 rounds to play with here. I'm debating cutting closer. Oh, there we go. Nice waterline hit. Let's go ahead and slow down the standard speed. I'm going to try to aim for the aft section. 
uh, just out of the possibility that we might take out that gun. That gun is terrifying and will do a lot of damage to our poor U-boat. Ooh, that looked close. These gun engagements are kind of nail-biting. Eventually, I will get rid of the deck gun later in the war. Ooh, Jesus. That sounded close. Now, eventually, we will get rid of the deck gun because it really is just a liability. Um, I'm, I'm pretty stupid, so <laughs> it'll be, you know, 1943 to 44, and I'll be like, oh, let's try to deck gun this ship, and then, you know, three Catalinas will appear bomb me the smithereens, so... Yeah. <laughs> Probably not a good idea for me to have a deck gun. And most U-boats by the end of the war did remove their deck guns because they were useless. Alright. Keep firing. Alright, I am missing now. Give me another range estimate. Ooh, Jesus Christ! That was right in front of me. Okay, we were overshooting. They are getting really close. These American gun crews are something else. Americans and their guns, huh? Let's keep firing. Although, it is a smaller caliber gun than ours, I bet. Makes it a little faster on the reload. See, the ship is in flames. That sounded... Oh, sh shit. That's not good. They hit us. Uh, all ahead flank. God damn it. Let's get on that, boys. Uh, where's my repairman? There we go. You get in there. Yeah, that was quite a bit of damage right there. 4,000 meters. Okay, we need to start actually hitting this ship and taking it out because that is no bueno. We're actually going to go ahead and go full. Since our diesel engines are damaged now after that hit, uh, they're even more at risk of getting damaged by just using them. So we want to try to limit how much, how far we push them. I don't want them getting destroyed. We're just bouncing around at these high speeds way too fast. Uh, it's just making it very difficult to actually hit this ship. We're going to go ahead and slow down a little bit. Maybe make ourselves a little bit more steady. Problem is, there we go. It's a little better. It's more manageable. There we go. Let's go ahead and fire. Okay, she's turning towards us. There we go. Finally a hit. After quite a few. <laughs> so slowing down definitely helps our aiming ability. But the problem is, we are just a bigger target. Well, not a bigger target, but an easier target to hit at these slow speeds. Like, look at that. That looks awfully freaking close. Just a mission. There we go. She's going down. Phew. Okay. Oh. Man, I really need to stop doing that. It's getting to the point where uh, eventually these ships are going to be so heavily armed. I don't mind doing it against some of these smaller ships, but like things like Liberty Cargoes, we are never going to be able to take out on the surface like that. That's just asking to die. Let's go ahead and continue on our course. I'm sure our hold of integrity is hurting now. Let's go ahead and see what is exactly damaged here. So it looks like we have damage on just the starboard diesel engine and the port diesel engine. Let's go ahead and just, yeah, ahead two thirds. We'll actually head one third while we repair these and try to get the hell out of here. Uh, we might actually submerge to uh, complete repairs. Let's see how long are these repairs going to take. About an hour for each engine. So, well, at least we got her. At least she's going down. There she is. Go ahead and take a look. Yeah, and she is just engulfed in flames there. Yeah. Another American ship going down to the bottom around 2,300 tons. All right, so we'll continue heading towards the Gulf of Mexico here. Overall, we're doing pretty well on the coast of Florida. This must be a very heavy shipping lane right here where that we're sailing in. So we're having pretty good luck here. I'm sure a lot of the ships, uh, actually, they might be still heading around where we're going. So I think we might have some pretty good luck. Let's actually see. 
I guess it doesn't really show us, but around Key West and in the, the Gulf here up to all around Louisiana apparently is a very heavy shipping lane. And there's also a lot of shipping from Galveston into the Caribbean. Okie doke. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here as we continue onward and repair our diesels. Uh, we probably won't let's see. We have 64 deck on around, so we have actually quite a bit, a lot more than I would suspect. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut now. Start with diesel engines already ready. There we go. All right, so I will see you guys very soon. Okay, we have a warship sighted. It's around 16 kilometers away. So we're going to go ahead and submerge the boat. I don't think it actually sees us right now. So let's go ahead and go down to Periscope Dap. Please. We're actually going to go down to around 40 meters here. It looks like it's just cruising. I don't think it uh, suspects us or anything. So we'll go ahead and go down to a sufficient depth of 40 meters and head slow. And oh my god, my crew is all getting freaking tired. I am. Uh, you get a bad medium speed closing. Get in there. I'll just move these four fellas. I actually, I, I don't think I, I think I failed to mention this. I gave myself a full complement of crew now, so we have uh, all these sailors, much more than I had earlier. Uh, so it's a little more to manage, a little more difficult to rotate them in and out. Anyway, I think that warship's pretty far off. Let's give it a listen here. There she is. Yeah, she's just chugging along on a routine patrol, I think. I don't think uh, we have anything to worry about. But let's give ourselves something to worry about. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to hit that button. That's the instant death button. All right, well, anyway, we'll continue under water for a little bit, probably until we break contact off, and then we'll resurface and head towards our patrol area. So this is just after our last contact with that uh, warship. We picked up a merchant vessel, pretty much just sailing north, so we went ahead and increased speed to a... Very quick six knots, and we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can get off a shot here. Now we are fairly close to that destroyer, so I want to make this quick, and hopefully we can take this ship out. I don't want to have to linger around here <laughs> while that destroyer's in the area. It's not just asking for trouble. Let's go ahead and come up to periscope depth here, and we should be in a fairly good spot to. I have absolutely zero idea what this is, but we're still we're still hauling ass here. I don't know if I'm really. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to uh, overtake it submerged. Let's go ahead and take a look. Up scope. Go ahead and follow the target for me. I hate it when he does that. Oh, there she is. It's like a medium cargo ship. It's like a. God damn. I don't know if we'll actually be able to overtake it here. Go ahead and head full. See if we will be able to. I could try a very long shot. The problem is uh, speed is an issue. You know what? That's what I. That's exactly what I want to do. I'll head slow. We're gonna try to take a shot from this range. I'll just shoot one magnetic torpedo, and hopefully that's enough to just break her back. All right. Let's go ahead and see here. Let's get a a rough heading. Heading uh, zero five five degrees. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and get a weapon officer in the in there. That's fine. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and three fifteen her. I think she's just going very slow. Probably five to seven knots. Let's go ahead and start the timer. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and get angle on bow here. So the ship was heading 055 degrees. It's going to be on this one right here. There we go. Angle on bow is... Uh, not great. Damn near 90 degrees. What, really? Am I reading this right? Yeah, pretty much dead on. So by the time we shoot, uh, it's not going to be very good. Whatever. Set. I'm going to go ahead and set this for seven knots preemptively. Let's go ahead and... This might be a bad idea. We don't... 
1,700 meters. I almost said yards. Yikes. All right, we're just gonna shoot one torpedo. What do we have? All electrics. Okay, tube one. We're gonna set you for, do I want impact or magnetic? We'll shoot magnetic. Let's see what's the draft of this vessel. Yeah, what's our time? We still have plenty of time. Medium cargo ship. There we go. Draft is 9.2 meters. We'll set for 10. Magnetic pistol, perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything looks good, the time being. Just need to wait and get the time here. Minutes. All right, let's go ahead and see. Closing in on 15. Oh, the ship changed course. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> We're in luck. Six knots. I'm guessing she'll be going seven knots with the, the course change. Let's go yeah, ahead and one. looks like she's turning due north. Wow, what luck. What luck. That's amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and start, try to close this gap a little bit more. And let's lower our periscope again so we don't make the same mistake that we did earlier. And let's see, it looks like the ship is just heading due north, so let's go ahead and plug that in to our, to this here. So, angle on bow is, or, it's heading due north, there we go. So, AOB at the moment is 40 degrees. Really? 40? Let's see. I'm closer to 45. 45, there we go, set. Plug this in. I'm gonna maintain my seven knots that I plugged in earlier. Um, I have a I have a gut feeling, and we'll use the Uyag as this ship gets a little bit closer. This episode is getting a little long, so I apologize for that. Even though I know most of you guys want longer episodes anyway, so no one's really going to be complaining. All right, let's get nice and close here. We are getting very close, and the waves are a bit choppy, so we do risk breaching. Let's make sure our periscope's nice and low. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I think I'm going to use two torpedoes. Um, I know it's not necessary, but the destroyer is in the area, and I want to. I want the ship to go down. So we're going to shoot a salvo, consisting of tubes two and three. Actually, let's do one and four. Magnetic draft. We go set. Let's see. Uh, I'll do a four degree spread. Perfect. And let's slow down. Let's see. The length of this ship is 140 meters. Let's go ahead and start this. No. Got to want to make sure it's somewhat perfect. Let's go ahead and raise our scope so we can actually see when the stern crosses our crosshair. Yeah, it's going to be seven knots. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. We got 100, 150. Yeah, pretty close to seven. So I'm going to guess. I'm going to keep with my seven knots. Open tubes one and four. We have a zero degree dry wet angle now. So this is a damn near perfect shot. Angle on bow is around 80 degrees. So that's not bad. Tubes one and four. Los. There we go. And they're away. Oh, tube two's away now. Compressed air jettisoned those torpedoes out. Let's see our runtime. I forgot to adjust the goddamn range. Damn it. Uh, runtime's probably around 30 seconds, however. This ship is damn close. Let's go ahead and get a. Ooh, we can actually listen to it here. 1,000 yard, or 1,600 meters. Right? Wow, really? That far? I thought it'd be a little bit closer, actually. There's the torpedoes right there. Oh, this is tense. Torpedo Ooh, tempo. there we go. Torpedo Both tempo. impacts. Let's go ahead and run to the periscope. Oh, nice. That was pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and turn away. Oh, and she's going down. She's done. That was that was excellent. <laughs> I love listening to our torpedo hits on the hydrophones. I think that's just one of the coolest things ever. All right, let's go ahead and all ahead standard. Let's go down to around 60 meters, and we're gonna run really from the scene of the crime here. Mostly because that destroyer is very close, and I do not want to deal with that. No sir. 
So that is going to conclude the third episode of this silent of this uh, third patrol. There we go. Oh no, this is the second episode. Man, I don't know anymore. My apologies. I, I think I've been saying third episode this whole time, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching. That was a very successful part and a bit longer. I think this will be close to 50 minutes. I don't know though. I'll have to go and check. So. I appreciate your guys' support. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.